Hello everyone, today let's take a look on how we can create a concrete stair run with a notch in it like you can see here in this example. So first of all you have to create a specific type of stair for this to be able to create. As you can see I have two similar stairs and in one I have no notch and in the other one I have a notch. And that is because this stair is of type monolithic stair or cast in place stair and this type of stair doesn't have the option to create a notch in it so you need to go and you actually have to use a precast type of stair as you can see in here this precast stair has a notch setting so you can actually go and create a notch in this type of stair so if i go into my edit type dialog and find my end connection in here you can see my connection method is specified to be a notch. If I go into my section view now, you can see the notch looks like this. So if I go back to my edit time dialog and I change this to be a straight cut, hit OK. You can see it looks almost the same as the previous cast in place concrete stair. So I will undo this. And let's just go and check what these notch parameters does. So as you can see the notch extension. If I change this value to be let's say 200. You can see it is this dimension. The notch thickness. If I change this. It is this one. The horizontal gap distance and the vertical gap distance. You can see 400 is too much. 40. This is this one. And the vertical gap is in here. So with these four parameters you can change the geometric properties of your notch but because this is a type property of the stair itself you cannot actually do this like for one run different than for the other one. So we basically are doing this for all of the runs inside of your stair at the same time. So I will go back to be 100, 10 and 10 as it was in the beginning. Okay. Now let's continue and take a look on the other side of the run. So as we can see at the end of the run, when there is a connection on the landing, we have a notch. At the end of the second run, we have a notch in here as well. But at the beginning, there is no notch. And that is because the notch is only being created when you have a thread at the beginning or at the start. So I can say that you have to begin and end with the thread and not with the riser for the notch to be created. What this means is that if I turn on or select my monolithic run, only the run, not the stair itself, you can see here in the construction two parameters, begin with riser and end with riser. The end with riser is now unchecked and that means that the stair run is ending with the thread and that's why we have a notch in here. If I check this to be yes, Hit OK. You can see now that the notch is not being created. If I undo this, again, the notch is being created. So if I want to create a notch here in this junction, I need to just uncheck this begin with riser. Hit OK. And now you can see that because I am beginning with a thread, the notch is being created automatically for me. So again, if I begin with riser, no notch. If I begin with a thread, there is a notch. So this is the second part and now the last part, which is at the beginning of the first monolithic run that is starting the stairs. And here you already know, okay, I am beginning with riser, so I will just uncheck this and it will be good. So if we try to do this, you can see that nothing actually changed. And that is because we need to use one more parameter here and that is called extend below thread base. And the best way to see this is in the section. So if I go into my section, my thread base is my level one. So if I go with this parameter, let's say minus 200, you can see now the notch is being created. And this minus 200 millimeters is like measured from the level here, this is this minus 200. So if I change this to be, let's say, minus 150, you can see it changes this value. It can go 
like in the positive direction as well and this means that it will go on the other side so minus 200 and the notch is being created so to recap to be able to create a stair that is monolithic precast with a notch inside of the Revit project you have to have first the precast stair type then you have to have an end connection as a notch and define the geometric properties of the notch and then your stair rounds must begin and end with the thread not with the riser and for the round that is like the first one you have to have the extent below base parameter set to be able to see the notch.